Anyway, here is uh, J.D. Vance to Rogan on Sharia law in Minnesota. A lot of people, worst case scenario, when they start thinking about religious influence on uh, the way they're allowed to behave and the, 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 the way their state is governed. Worst case scenario is a state adopts Sharia law. This is worst case scenario. Yeah. Bro, we are not living on the same planet with these people, man. I'm sorry. It's just like, like what the are you saying dude what are you saying do you hear the words that are coming out of your mouth like worst case scenario is a state adopts sharia law yeah and i think all these people that would cry against the concept of islamophobia yeah really need to understand what that means That's and right. what you're talking what are you saying first of all i don't think any single fucking person that is advocating against Islamophobia, okay, saying that this is damaging, is also simultaneously going, and we want Sharia law. I'm a person who combats Islamophobia. No, I, there is no... There is no world where I'm saying like we need to be following any religious doctrine, let alone uh, the the false interpretation of like Islamic doctrine, whatever the fuck someone saw fit, whatever some fundamentalist decided is the appropriate standard. Like saying this in the state of Texas is additionally funny, okay? Dog, you literally have Sharia for Christianity right now, but it doesn't read in the same way because you don't see Christianity as a threat in the way that you see Islam as a threat. America is barreling down, spiraling out of control with religious fundamentalism of the Christian variety. This dipshit has not one, but two of the prominent fixtures of said decline on his show, back to fucking back. J.D. Vance, even nuttier than Donald Trump in terms of like Christo fascism, okay? Like Donald Trump is a narcissistic, New York liberal, zesty, asexual, biromantic queen, okay? We know this already. He loves opera. He loves Broadway musicals, yada, yada, yada. He doesn't give a fuck about Christianity nor the Bible. He just likes to act like he does in an effort to fucking lure in suckers. J.D. Vance, on the other hand, is a uniquely demonic figure. He is a real uh, recent convert, okay? And this fucking dipshit is interviewing potentially the next vice presidential candidate who, if given the opportunity, would absolutely Absolutely, would absolutely implement Christian fascist principles, like Christian fundamentalist pa fascist pr principles in this country. And he's like, you know, it's a real problem. Sharia law. What are you saying? Talking about and to say that that's an outrageous and ridiculous idea that's never going to take place. It's kind of already worked its way into some societies. It has. It has. It has. And there are. Is it? Is it Minnesota that has call to prayer? Like, is it Minneapolis? I don't know where I, I, I know that there is there is a place in Minnesota I believe where they have prayer calls as a matter of local government. I right. do think that's I do think that's happening. That what are they saying that there are there is a call to prayer in a in a majority Muslim area? So there's like mosques. Is that what he's saying? Because a call to prayer is the same as a fucking church bell, dumbass. Someone needs to explain to me what the problem is with the call to prayer being uh, uh broadcasted from a mosque. <laughs> I want to hear the call to science five times a day. <laughs> yeah, that's what I need. <laughs> Excuse me. Don't say bless you when I sneeze, please. I'm an atheist. I never say, oh, my God. I say, oh, my science. Bibles in schools is okay. Call to prayer bad. No, that's the point. Bibles in schools is not okay. That's entirely, that's a whole different thing. Having a, a major, one of the major religions uh, that have like a big chunk of the population in, in Minneapolis uh, uh, have a call to prayer to me. And maybe it's because I grew up in fucking Turkey and I heard the call to prayer five times a day. And it's not a thing that even tracks with me when I hear it. But like, but it's just not, I don't know. It's just not a thing. It's no different than like when I stayed next to a massive church in in australia and yeah the bell fucking the church bells rang like a lot starts getting real weird yeah well, stuff like that starts getting real weird and when you have people that are openly saying our goal is and they've, they've talked about this in toronto yeah. like activists have said our goal is to outbreed everyone who is not muslim and dude come on on dude dude we have to ban facebook we have to get grandpa off facebook okay what is the uh christian equivalent of sharia law uh here's a quick example not allowing women to vote revoking women's right to choose uh a a medical procedure that they should be allowed to get no fault divorce 
being banned, you know, any number of different things. Oh uh, yeah. Not allowing gay people to get married, not allowing trans people to exist. For Joe Rogan, all that stuff is good. It doesn't read as like religious fundamentalism. And scares the voted hell out and in it's very frustrating. Uh, 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 place. Because this is like some direct European style Islamophobia. Okay? This is a European version of islamophobia it's very very annoying that we are we're reaching european levels of islamophobia like we're we're just biting their shit now put sharia law in place yeah that's very scary women have to wear burqas this is how it works yeah what well, are you saying oh my god 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 he that's jd vance sitting across from him going yep yep that's i mean that's what, what to me is so crazy about some of the hyper left-wing reaction to you know the, the idea that like somehow i want to force every man woman and child to go to my church is ridiculous i just don't want to do that i've never had any brother you are literally talking about hearing the azan as like sharia law being implemented in a state that is precisely the point there if you don't got no problem with and church bells okay but you have an issue with a call to prayer then yeah you want one thing to exist and then the other not to this is white people in dearborn racism like there is no like what are you talking about i mean even turkey itself in its entire existence like absolutely guts this argument you know my mom would laugh at the idea of wearing a hijab like straight up and she wouldn't even laugh she'd be actually very angry if i suggested that to her but like it, it's so ridiculous like what do you mean oh yeah all muslims are monolith you know they would never i think a lot of people don't understand that like you know whether a whether it is a direct consequence of social conditioning or not like there are people who choose to do it okay what the fuck is it to you you know what i mean what is it to you i don't see you running around ripping that shit off of nuns you know no you are being oppressed that would be fucking ridiculous you should go to jail for that that is a fucking hate crime okay i feel like joe rogan would be the type of dude who'd want to mandate everyone wake up at 4 a.m the fajr adhan would help with that bro i mean you're not wrong islam in that sense is is the perfect religion for joe rogan it's the, it's the wake up at 4 a.m religion so, you know, fasting too. Joe Rogan loves fasting. Yeah, I heard uh, I heard these Muslims, they do they do fasting. Bro, Joe is way too close in proximity to the UFC to be able to talk like this about Islam. It's actually quite alarming that he just does not like he has the he has access and I know he respects these people, okay? He has access to some of the top dogs of Islam, including but not limited to literally dudes named Islam. Okay, I don't understand this shit. Like any interest in doing that? Um, but where you see actual real religious tyranny right now, right now the UFC at every fucking uh, every weight class is about to have a Muslim Dagestani or Russian guy uh, be the champion, the type, the belt holder. I don't know if you're aware of this or not. If there's one person who should be directly humanized uh, the, by by being around a shit ton of a shit ton of Muslims, it's people who are close to the UFC, people who are associated with the UFC, Joe Rogan being the guy. So it's like shocking that he's this Islamophobic. He don't look that Islamophobic when he's on stage sitting next to fucking Islam Makachev or whatever, you know?